All right, good evening everyone. Trevor Thompson, TNT Pressure Cleaning Dynamite Service with explosive results. So we can see that the curbing has been all cleaned up. Got a little puddle up situation going on there, but we were able to take a high pressure ball valve. Good afternoon, everyone. I wanna show you what the work uh, that we've done uh, for today, it was quite a bit. Um, and uh, so come take a look with me. Now, the previous video of the same house, so you can see what it used to look like. We did this with the X-Jet, um, but primarily what we used was a reducer off the end of a high pressure ball valve um, and then the J-Rod with wash tips. Um, and the reason we did that is because, um, uh, you know, basically when you lay your chem, um, you really don't need high pressure on bricks and I'm gonna show you why. So if you take a look, you can see the curbing's done. You can see this little sidewalk here is done. that leads to a patio. We did the swing here. We did the entire home. All, look how beautiful that is. Look at the roof, look at the gutter line. Look at the bricks, the windows, the shutters. Look at how absolutely gorgeous everything looks. My solution is phenomenal. There's that 55 gallon vertical SH tank that I get from Panhandle Power Wash Supply. Trudy Wickham, she owns that place and they ship those things out to you right away. 100 foot of siphon hose, got a, um, a 36 inch lance and um, uh, then we got the Sutner Easy Pull Gun. That's to get towards the bottom of the bricks where we want to get those areas that are a little bit black and cleaned up. Put your X-Jet on the end of that and you will be just fine. Take a look at this driveway. This thing was full, absolutely full, guys, of um, uh, mildew. Um, I think I have this upside down, but I think I'll keep it that way. All right. Hi everybody, I'm tired, I'm ready to go home. My wife keeps calling, when are you coming home for dinner? Anyway, uh, so leave real straight lines, guys. You can see the nice straight line that we leave right there. That way it's just, you know, it's property line to property line, but even though we're sort of encroaching a little bit, we wanna make it nice and tidy. So as you can see, all of the joints and seams have been cleaned. Obviously this could use a good, nice paver sand. Um, and then it could be sealed. That would be absolutely spectacular. But we cleaned this entire thing. Um, we did the walkway up here. Uh, we did um, basically everything, an entire house wash. The bricks came out like brand new. Um, you can just see what that looks like. Uh, here's the front doorway area. We shot the roof under here. You can see what that looks like. Just absolutely gorgeous. Not a spider web, cobweb, anything. All these pavers in through here. Both of these paths that lead through here all cleaned up very nicely. You can see all the way down, back over here, cleaned all this up as well. Uh, did this little um, uh, area here, did these swings, got the mildew and uh, mold off of the swings and tightened up the uh, wooden areas. Uh, then we go back here and um, basically it's just more. Now this area was really bad, guys. Uh, this, this whole brick wall was just really nasty. Look how beautiful that came out. Looks like brand new bricks. Look at that flashing. Take a look at how gorgeous that flashing looks like. How beautiful those soffits came out. So um, if you know how to mix your chems properly, uh, you shouldn't have a problem. If you know what tips to use, how much pressure to apply, uh, and how to work systematically, um, you, can, you can do this job. It's, uh, it requires a strong, strong work ethic. Uh, you can't be taking breaks, otherwise uh, you will not have enough time in the day. But just look at that beautiful garage door. All these, I mean, just look at these, uh, just absolutely gorgeous. So we come back here, this was all moldy and mildewy. She was wanting to have that painted, it's now bright white. So you can just see what, you know, how beautiful the gutters come out, how beautiful really everything comes out. And uh, we'll go ahead and open up the gate here. Uh, really careful when you're doing a gate like this. Guys, this is my favorite part of the entire thing. Not this uh, paver uh, uh, walkway that we did. We even cleaned this up, this uh, propane um, uh, holding tank was had mold on it. Uh, but you know, the areas here that were just full of mold uh, down below here. But guys, I don't know if you remember or not, they asked me to do this barn door. And I'm sorry, they asked me to do the barn roof. I took a 26 foot uh, gorilla, they framed it to 16 and shot this roof and look at what it looks like. There are some leaves that landed up there, but this thing looks brand new. 
Guys, refer to that before video to take a look at that. I mean, I'm talking the top, both sides, the crown. I mean, look at that. Uh, you know what I mean? Now, guys, this was done with the X-Jet, you know? Uh, I didn't even use a pump-up sprayer to get a hotter mix. And that roof was caked. If you guys remember, this shed back here was totally full of mold and behind there as well. And uh, I'll take you in the back here. I'm just so excited because I'm really passionate about the art of exterior cleaning. I'm really, you know, I, I get really, uh, I get really um, excited when I, when I, uh, you know, cre create re results like that. I mean, look at that. It looks like this thing was just delivered. Backside, now there's a top up there, you know, so it's not just, there's that whole section there and that whole section there. You have to climb up a ladder to shoot that. And uh, I laid on a solution. Just look at that, brand new metal. This uh, chest back here, totally green and disgusting. It looks like it was just delivered, guy. There's not a mark on it. The only thing that you're seeing right there is a leaf. See that leaf? Those are just fresh leaves that just came. Look at that thing. Looks like it was just delivered. Look at the back side of this roof, guys. Let me get up there for you. Look at that. I mean, are you serious? It looks brand new. Get excited for what you do. Um, know how to clean properly. Become a member of the United Association of Mobile Cleaning Contractors. Become a member of Power Washers in North America. Um, go to vendor showcases. Network with business professionals. Uh, jump on board on big commercial jobs with guys. Split them three ways. Uh, you know, a $60,000 job, you guys each make 20. You rent a big high reach. You have a great time. You know, you knock it out in seven days. You just made 20 grand. All right, back to the job. So we did all of this in through here, all of this. These umbrellas, guys, were almost ready for the trash can. Almost ready for the trash can. Now you can see leaves is all you can see because this place is heavily wooded. See all the trees around me, guys? Lots of trees everywhere. So they're dropping leaves like gangbusters. But those things look brand new. We shot this whole kitchen area here. We shot behind the air conditioners, did the whole slab, all this area, this wall here. Did all of these pavers in through here. The only thing you're seeing are leaves that have blown in. This canvas that is a fire pit was just hammered with mildew. We shot this entire swing right here, got that whole canopy nice and brilliant. Same thing here, same thing here. You gotta know how to mix your solution properly. Look at the wood on there. Did I make that thing look brand new or what? So we did this entire uh, area here. The only thing you guys are seeing are leaves. See, if you see anything in the video, those are leaves. If you look at all your joints, all your seams, everywhere, it is just perfect. Look at the gutter line, guys. How bright white is that? All the way around. Look at the bricks on this house. I mean, does the X-Jet do good work or what? I mean, you know, even if you soft wash, you still got to come with some form of pressure, you know, unless you're running a gas powered soft wash system. Um, and these are just like discoloration. You know what I mean? That's not mold or mildew or anything like that. Every single brick has been cleaned, guys. Every shelf. Look at how my solution leaves windows. Look at how sparkling and shining that is, right? I mean, come on. Um, and I can tell you some secrets, but we all pay a lot of money uh, for this knowledge. And a lot of this knowledge comes with experience and time. Um, and so, you know, that's why you see a lot of people who are unwilling to, uh, you know, we did this uh, patio out here. We did this entire slab all the way through. Look how pretty that looks. I mean, even the lip under here, just brand new. This whole area, I really don't want to walk out here because I didn't want to get my shoes wet, but I'll kind of give you a, a bird's eye. Um, let's see if I can capture it over here. So there's another slab over there, another wall. Oh, that sun's just bright in your eyes. We did that slab right there. We did that wall over there and the rest of the house. So this was about a 10 minute video, guys, but um, I just wanted to, you know, let you know how excited I am about uh, the right way to clean. And these two women are just thrilled. Man, they're so excited. They just can't believe how beautiful their home looks. 
and quite frankly, I can't believe it either. I started the day off with uh, putting a ladder on the side of the house and um, they have gutter guards all throughout. So what I did was I climbed up, took my blower and I blew off all the gutters. Now you have to get down with your hand and brush a lot of that stuff off because a lot of it is woven into the, um, the holes of the gutter guard. So you really have to get that uh, completely uh, done. But anyway, guys, look at that barn door. Re please refer to that before video and see what that looked like. Just go back and check out that video just to see that door. You know, if you, if you don't do anything else, just go to my video that I shot of the same house in the afternoon when I arrived and check out what that barn door looked like and what it looks like now. Check out what that swing looked like and check out what these umbrellas looked like. It's in that before video. And um, I don't think it's really important that you guys watch how I clean. Um, that comes with experience and time, you know. Uh, obviously there are techniques, but if you don't know what you're doing, get a job with somebody and learn. And before you go out on your own, because you know, these homes are generally a person's biggest investment they'll make in a lifetime. And if you screw up, um, you just put yourself out of business. So please know what you're doing out here. Um, we're gonna go ahead and shut this up, call it a day. We're gonna wrap up. Um, see the wind cranks through here and just blows stuff everywhere. Cause this is, this was just, uh, look at that. Where'd you guys come from? Uh, so really tough uh, to do, but anyway, have a great day, everyone. Keep cleaning Trevor Thompson, TNT pressure cleaning, dynamite service with explosive results. 386-453-4213. See all these gorilla ties I put on here? Makes things really easy to hang hoses and uh, whatever you have to do. So um, this is the reducer, guys. This reducer uh, goes on your, sorry, this reducer goes on your high pressure ball valve. See how it's a reducer? And then you can use your X-Jet on there, your J-Rod on there, um, or whatever you want. And I'll show you. So here's the reducer. You guys can put these things together yourself. You see the male fitting, you see the quick connect. And here is um, what a normal DN10 ball valve looks like. Look at that. So there's your DN10 ball valve. Okay, now you see the size orifice. Let's just shut this off really quick. I'm getting ready to rinse all my equipment down and do final little touch-ups, but I wanted to shoot the video because it's getting a little late. Let's see, can you guys see that? There you go, see? Reducer. So that's what you're gonna do. You're gonna reduce that pressure, and that way uh, you're not uh, blasting people's homes apart. Have a great day, everyone. Thank you so much. Check it out. Is that beautiful or what? Look at that gutter line. Look at these pavers, the walkway, the barn. I mean, this place looks brand new. I couldn't be more thrilled. Take care, everyone.